Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Look what I've been making. I've been making this lovely little blanket. <laughs> this is all the yarn I've got left. It should be enough to go around and do a double crochet on the end of this little blanket. Look at this. This is so pretty. This is very much like the call the midwife but it doesn't have that pattern in the middle. Remember I've done the fillet blanket just with the big long lines on it? Well this one I've done lines across the way and turned it into this beautiful box. Look at this, it's so pretty. The stitch count is 8 plus 6. You need to add an extra 6 stitches once you've done all your sets of 8. Make this as wide as you want. Now a lot of people have been saying to me, you don't tell me how much yarn to use. I used 2 balls of this, of the Deramores anti-piling yarn. This, I don't have the label for this one, but it's a Deramores yarn. It's a double knitting, it's really pretty. Now also what other people say, how much yarn do I need for this size of blanket or that size? How much yarn will I need? I don't know. I don't know how big you're going to make your blanket. I don't know what your tension is. I don't know what hook size you're going to use. And I don't know what yarn you're going to use. The best thing I can say is if you Google crochet blanket chart, if you Google crochet blanket chart, then you'll get lots of charts that will come up on Google that you can either write them down or you can print them out. It'll tell you what each blanket is and what the average width and length is. So maybe a pram blanket or a stroller, a crib, a Moses basket, a baby cot, um, a baby's bed, a cuddle blanket, all that kind of thing. It'll tell you in these charts. <laughs> what you'll do is you'll do your sets of eight until you get to that length of the blanket that you want. Then add an extra six. That's how you get bigger blankets. But unfortunately, I don't know how much yarn you're going to use. A chunky blanket will take more yarn than a double knitting so it just depends and that's why a lot of youtubers who knit and crochet they won't tell you how much to use because personally they don't know what size of blanket you're going to do they don't know what size of yarn they don't know what yarn you're going to use so it's it's quite difficult but anyway, this blanket is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 sets of 8 and then I added an extra 6 on to that to get this width. And I've done, I think it's 9 boxes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I've done 9 boxes. I started mine on a UK treble crochet row. I finished it on a UK treble crochet row like this. And at the end of the video, I'll just show you how to neaten up the edges. So for the sample, I'm going to use this James Seabrett Top Value Double Knitting Yarn for my sample. I'm going to use a UK 4mm crochet hook for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crochet in sets of 8 stitches. 8 stitches makes a block. Then I'm going to add an extra 6 stitches to it. So just do your yarn over and pull it through your hook. Make sure you don't do it too tight. One, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now continue doing your chain in sets of eight until it's as wide as you want it to be. And then we'll add an extra six stitches. The extra six stitches is for the building of the first treble crochet, your second treble crochet and the two that we've got at the edge on the end. 
I'll show you that. So do your chain in sets of eight, then add an extra six stitches. So I've done four sets of eight. I'm going to add an extra six stitches. One, two, three, four, five and six. Now those extra stitches make up the two treble crochets we've got at each end and one of the little chain spaces. So what you're going to do now is you're going to go into the third stitch in your chain. Into the third stitch. So yarn over and do a UK treble crochet. So pull your yarn through, you've got three loops. Yarn over through two loops. Yarn over and through two loops. Now you're going to put one UK treble crochet into every stitch. And if you're in the USA, these are double crochets for you. So yarn over and into the next stitch. One treble crochet all the way along. So I'm at my last stitch. I'm going to put my last treble crochet into that stitch. So I've put my last treble crochet into that stitch. Now we're going to chain two. We're only ever going to chain two up the sides. One and two. That's going to keep us a nice neat edge up the side of the blanket. Now you're going to turn your work around. Now, not into that stitch, into the next stitch, you're going to put one UK treble crochet. If you're in the USA, these are double crochets for you. Now, to get your stitch nice and neat, I like, can you see that little line there? There's a little line right there of yarn. That's where I like to put my hook and it keeps your treble crochets like this. It keeps them neat and it keeps them right on top of each other. If you don't do that, they kind of go off to the left and then to the right when you do your next row. But if you want your blanket nice and neat, try and go into that little stitch. If not, just go into the normal space. So I'll show you where I'm talking about if I get my stitch up a little bit in my yarn. Now you can see a little line right there of a stitch. Right there. Now you can just go into the normal space here if you want. But what I like to do is use the point of my hook and then just push it in there. Just push it in and through. And what it does is it catches that little piece of yarn there and it makes your treble crochets right on top of each other, especially if you sell your blankets. Now you can see right where at the end of my nail, going right there, that little part of that stitch. All you need to do is just take the point of your hook, this part here of your hook, and just sit it there and then just push it right through. If you don't want to do that, and if you don't sell your blankets, just put it in that normal hole there. But if you sell your blankets and you want them nice and neat, then try and go into that little stitch. It is right above that post there, that little stitch in there, that little line. So yarn over, skip the first hole and go into the second. And just watch what I do. I just go in there and just push my hook through. And you can see that little stitch. Just pull your yarn through like that. And what it does is it puts your treble crochet right smack on the top of that one. You can see it there. It's right in that space there on top of that post. And if you sell your blankets, it really does make a big difference. So what you're going to do now, we're going to do the fillet row. 
we're going to do we're going to do this row of holes so that chain two counts as your first treble crochet that's your second one now chain one and skip one stitch and into the next stitch you're going to do a treble crochet so skip that one and watch what I'm doing with my hook I'm just pushing it through there and pull through keeps it all nice and neat chain one skip one and into the next stitch chain one skip one all the way along done my chain one I'm going to skip one yarn over and in right above that post right in there but you can go in that other space it's just a little tip how to neaten up your blanket chain one skip one and treble crochet into the next stitch all the way along you're going to do that all the way along so i've got my last three stitches one two and the top of that little chain we're going to chain one skip that stitch and into the next stitch you're going to do a treble crochet and then in to the top of that little chain that you've got there you're going to do your next treble crochet and this is what you get I've got my two trebles at the beginning and my two trebles at the end and that is the first row of your pattern this this fillet row is your first row of your pattern that's row one you're going to chain two one two and turn around now into the next treble crochet you're going to do one treble crochet and to there now we're going to keep this fillet space all the way up the blanket you're going to keep that little fillet hole all the way up your blanket so what we're going to do is this pattern has five rows your fillet row is row one this row is row two row three row four and row five then row one two three four five row one two three four five you'll keep repeating it where each box has four treble crochet rows and one of these on the bottom so your next bottom one makes the top of that if you know what I mean so I'm going to I'll leave that there so all the way up the sides I've got two double crochets so what we're going to do is we're going to chain one skip that space there and do a treble crochet into this one that is stitch one we're going to do seven treble crochets along that is stitch one each box has seven treble crochets and then it has a fillet space seven treble crochets then a fillet space seven treble crochets then a fillet space so that's one your next stitch is going into the box that's two then into the top of the stitch with the next one that's three into the chain space that's four into the top of the next stitch that's five into the chain space for one treble crochet that's six and one treble crochet into the next stitch that makes seven you're going to chain one skip this chain space and do a treble crochet into the top of that one and this is stitch one again and this is what you've got I'll move that out of the way and that's what you've got so that is stitch one of the next box into the chain space that's stitch two 
and to the top of the treble crochet that's stitch three into the chain space that's four we need seven into the next stitch that's five into the chain space that's six and into the top of this one that makes seven chain one skip that space and do a treble crochet into the next one and that becomes stitch one of your next block so what you're doing is you're building your little blocks you're building these blocks and then you'll do a space seven treble crochets you'll do chain one skip space seven treble crochets so that's stitch one so yarn over into the chain space that's two yarn over into the next stitch that's three into the chain space for four into there that's five one into the chain space six and one into the top of that stitch into that stitch for seven chain one skip the chain space and we'll do seven more treble crochets one one into the chain space one into the top of the next treble crochet that's just got three that's four one into the top of the year that's five into the chain base that's six and into the top of the year for seven chain one now you're going to skip that last little chain space and put two treble crochets in so one into the top of that stitch and one into the top of your chain and that's what you've got you're going to do four rows like that so that's you've done the the fillet row is row one that's row two so we're going to do another three of those rows so chain two one two and turn one treble crochet into the next stitch now you can see your fillet space there so it's chain one skip the fillet space and do seven treble crochets along that's one one into the next stitch two one into the next stitch three one into the next stitch four whoops take that one out that's four five six and seven so you're at the fillet space so it's chain one skip that little chain space there and do seven treble crochets so i'm at my last little fillet so chain one I'm going to skip that and do two treble crochets at the end you'll always do your treble crochets at the end and the beginning and one into the top of that little chain of two just go right in to the top of that chain so you'll repeat this row until you have four rows of your seven treble crochets so I've got my fourth row done one two three and four this is what it looks like now now I've got my chain one skip this last little fillet space and put my two 
ٹریبو کروشیز یو کے ٹریبو کروشیز اینڈ ٹو دی اینڈ Now what you're going to do is you're going to rewind the video and you're going to go back to this fillet row. Remember I said that was row 1. That's row 1, row 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now we're going to repeat row 1 and it's going to turn this in to a proper little box. So you'll chain your 2, 1, 2 and turn. So into my next stitch, 1 UK treble crochet. Now we're going to chain one and skip that fillet space and do a treble crochet into the next space. You're going to chain one, skip the next stitch and do a treble crochet into the next stitch. We're going to make little fillet squares, little fillet, little fillet spaces all the way along. Chain one, skip one and treble crochet into the next one. Chain one, skip one and you'll treble crochet into that one. Just push my hook through and you can see what I mean by it keeps the stitch nice and neat and on top of each other when you go into that tiny little part of a stitch there. So I've done chain one, skip that space and treble crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, skip one and we're going to do that all the way along. So I'm nearly at the end. I'm going to chain one, skip one and into that treble crochet. Don't do your chain one too tight. So into the top of that treble crochet there. And we're going to go into the top of that little chain of two, into the top there, and do a treble crochet. And then you're going to continue your four rows again. And then, so we'll do those four rows up here, then you'll do that row one again, and then your other four rows until you have this. And that's what you'll keep repeating. So that, remember I said, was row 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then do row 1, then do 1, 2, 3, 4 of those treble crochets. And then do that row 1, and then 4 rows of that. To finish your blanket with one row of treble crochets. And this is what mine looks like. I'll bring that back up. And this is what my blanket looks like. So I finished that last row of treble crochet and that makes it the same that makes it the same as the bottom. So just remember once you've done your foundation row, you'll row one as these fillet spaces. Then you'll do four rows of your treble crochets with your seven and then your chain one skip a stitch to make your little box then you'll go back to doing that long row of fillet then your four rows of your treble crochets the long row of the fillet and that will make up this really pretty pattern it's really pretty now what I'm going to do down the side is I'm going to do a row of treble crochets now you can either just put one row down each side of your blanket, do one down that side and then do one up this side or you can go all the way around but it does mean at the bottom and at the top of your blanket you'll have two rows of treble crochets. So just right down this side I'm going to do a row of treble crochets, I'll cut my yarn, sew on the end and then I'll put one row of treble crochets all the way down this side. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to chain one and then right in to that space, that little fillet space, I'm going to put one treble crochet into the next stitch. 
if you see your blanket, it's in little rows. You've got all these little lines here. I'm going to put one treble crochet into that little space there. Then one into where your chain two is. One into that little space. That keeps it even. If you put two into there, you'll have little gaps. And that keeps your corner nice and straight as well. So one treble crochet all the way down and one into that gap. Now I will take a picture of this when I've got it finished. So I'm only going to do one row of treble crochet from that corner all the way down to this corner and into there I'll put a treble crochet, I'll chain one and I'll slip stitch it to this one here. I'm only doing that one row up the side and then I'll put one row of treble crochet up that side because I've already got them. I don't have enough yarn to go around a couple of times right around the blanket and that way it just has the one row of treble crochets all the way around the blanket. So once I've got that done, I'll take a picture of it and I'll add it in at the beginning of the video. So thank you very much for watching. Please click on that subscribe button. It's free to subscribe to the YouTube channels. And if you click on that bell icon, YouTube will tell you when I put up another tutorial. So until the next time, happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. I'll add a picture in at the end here once I've got that done.